and welcome to my channel. Welcome to a prep and pack with me for Nashville. So today is Monday. We leave tomorrow. I am doing laundry right now. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. We talked about last week in the vlog. Hey, whenever I do this pack and like prep with me for Nashville video, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. I don't know yet. So we're going to figure it out together. But let's rewind a couple of days because I did go shopping you'll see what I picked up, but let's go shopping with Brian first. So we went to Cavender's over in Spanish Fort. First time I've ever been there. I spotted these leopard print cowboy boots right off the bat. So pretty. So Brian is looking for specifically a cowboy hat, a black one. They have a ton in this store and there's me high and my outfit. <laughs> Are we surprised at this outfit choice? No. Let me just tell you, Brian trying on cowboy hats is a whole vibe. I wore this hat. Can I leave that in the video? What? What you just said. <laughs> Spoiler, he didn't end up buying anything, but I did find this Wild West Rodeo t-shirt. Super cute. I love this style. They didn't have a ton of plus size in store. This funky tee was really cute too. And I should have bought the cash one. Now that I'm looking back, that would have been a really cute outfit to wear in Nashville. So these Vigos, Vigos, Vigos jeans, I did like, however, I don't know if I can get on board with the rhinestones on the back pockets. And now that I'm standing here talking to you, I realize that you're crooked. Is that any better? I feel like it's probably the same. I've been filming all morning, so I'm just a little bit sweaty. I'm a little bit like crunch time because again, I still don't know what I'm wearing. Okay, then the next day I went shopping with my nieces and I did pick up a couple of things. First, we went and got our nails done. Here's a cute picture of our like after nails. Let's talk about this top first. Ava and Viv is the brand in a size 1X. It's like this bubblegum pink smocking with like bubbly sleeves with the elastic. It's peplum style. I just thought this was cute and could be a good option with flare jeans, the white cowboy boots if I wanted some color. And we are going to dinner at the White Limousine restaurant, which is all decked out like pink themed. So I thought if I didn't wanna wear my other option that I have in my head, then I could wear this with some jeans. But what I'm thinking of wearing is these shoes. I know the string looks super long, but it wraps around your ankle and like lower calf a couple times. These are from Target. I'm surprised that the size eight and a half fits me. So if you get these size down and these kind of shoes, I would normally be a 10 maybe nine and a half, but 10 pretty much across the board. So I think what I'm gonna wear is these with that black Timu sundress that sort of could be cute for date night. I thought the pop of pink at the bottom could be fun. So that's one option, but I also have the pink top as another option. All right, so what I need to do now, I just put my pajamas back on <laughs> after I filmed. Okay, what I need to do now is fake tan while I'm doing laundry and then we will come back and pack this suitcase together. This is the set Brian got me for Christmas. I haven't gotten to use it yet. So I'm excited for that. So fake tan, and then we'll come back and pack. And welcome back. It is about 5.30 at this point. I've had this fake tan on for about an hour. So I've tried to lay out all of my outfit options. Let's talk about it. Hi, are you excited to go see your friends? All right, it's a little bit dark in here, but listen, hear me out. All right, concert. We have the corset, I have the mesh t-shirt. All right, these are the jeans that I tried on in my Nashville like outfits video, but I'm taking all of these other options as well. The black skinny jeans, faux leather leggings, two more or one more pair of flare like pull on pants, another pair of dark skinny jeans. These are those American Eagle like high rise mom jeans. I thought they'd be cute for country music hall of fame, lunch and stuff during the day on Wednesday with this pink top. And then... Thursday during the day, I'm going to take some denim shorts and this button-down two-tone shirt. It's supposed to be warm, but cloudy and maybe even raining, so I could switch it out, like not wear the shorts and wear jeans instead. So that's that. I do have my cowboy boots and then these inserts that I'm going to try. I am bringing two additional tops just because I like them and I like to have options. My dinner outfit for Tuesday night, that Timu dress I just showed you, these Halara bike shorts, you'll see them in a video soon. We talked about this. And then all of my like undergarments. So I have 
a pair of shorts and a t-shirt to sleep in, but also I always bring pants and long sleeves in case it's cold. And then I just have an extra pair of Nike shorts and a t-shirt, a couple different things of shapewear in case we get to that point, a pair of fluffy socks, underwear, and then in this bag, Okay, so I may be exposing myself a little bit here, but if you're in the market for great lingerie, I've had people ask me in the past, and I have several things from Amazon, and then a couple of sets from Lane Bryant or Cacique that are really nice, but Brian got me something from a brand called Thistle Inspire. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Thistle Inspire. It says, we're upgrading your lingerie drawer. You're supporting a 100% female owned and operated business. Okay, this set, I'll show it to you because it is the most stunning. Like I kind of want to wear this bra under the mesh top with like some nipple covers. It's a little bit risque. I won't be doing it, but look at this. It's snake printed. It's like got boning in it. I'm wearing a 2X in both pieces. I'll put a picture of like the model wearing it from the website here. The nicest made things, like look at the bag, it's all adjustable. I got this in the mail, put the 2X on and it fit me perfectly. I didn't have to adjust anything. And then he got me the matching brief that goes with it. Now technically these are two different colors, so they call this butterscotch and they didn't have the top or the bra in butterscotch, but you really can't tell the difference. So I'm taking this so yes, I will link this set down below. They're true to size in my opinion. I'll be buying a lot more from them. I like having lingerie, it just makes me feel cute. So I do wear it pretty often. It also came in this bag, which you can store in, but also wash in. So I'm gonna also put my mesh t-shirt in here because I don't wanna snag it. All right, we are all bagged up. Now let's go load the luggage and we'll do jewelry. Okay, boots first. I'm also taking these because they're just comfortable and I always take them in case I need a good pair, like a good black boot. These Cole Haan white sneakers for Wednesday and then the cute heels for dinner Tuesday. My luggage has this. Am I supposed to cover my shoes? Cause then where am I gonna put all my clothes? On this side, do we think they're all gonna fit? I almost forgot about these. So we'll just lay those in there. All right, so let's start with pajamas or like loungy type options. All of my jeans. I put my corset in these, just I don't want it to snag on anything. So my dress and then my extra things for just running around town. And I'm going to pack this lingerie bag here as well. Okay, that's all the clothes, it fit. I have a lot more than I should have, but that's how I live my life. <laughs> it came with these extra little bags. It says not basic. And then this one says dirt bag. So I'm just gonna tuck these. Well, probably just lay them here. Well, I'll probably roll them up and put them in the shoes. Just so that I have them, I mean, I could use them for something. Shapewear in here, along with my socks. Don't ask me why I need 75 pairs of socks. You never know. So we're just, we're going for it and that's what we're doing. Underwear and bra and that one. Okay, I think this luggage, oh my gosh, it's so heavy, is good to go. Now for jewelry. These are those earrings I talked about in the outfit video. So we're gonna take these for sure. I'm gonna take these as well. And you know, I can't pass up the cowboy boot earrings. And then I'm also gonna take this Walmart chain bracelet. And I think I'm gonna forego necklaces. I don't really have a ton of jewelry, but my friend Jessica got me this jewelry organizer and it's so cute. So we're gonna put our jewelry, we're gonna merge the two, put them together. <laughs> All right, let's do makeup. This is my travel makeup bag. I'm sure you've seen it before. So let me empty it because there's just a lot of stuff in here that I don't need. Some stuff I do want to take, but it just starts to collect like this I wanna take. This is the Good Molecule sunscreen. It's so good. And then this little kiss mirror. It's like little things like that I want to take. I guess I'm assuming I'm not gonna wear makeup tomorrow. Like on the drive. I don't really want to. So we're taking these foundations, Maybelline Fit Me, and then these two It Cosmetic CC creams. Oh, I used this for the first time today and really liked it. So we're gonna throw that in there. I'm gonna take this mascara. I'm gonna put my little things back in here so that I don't forget them. All right, we have highlighter. 
we have eyeshadow, Eco Tool sponge, this little like half sponge that's really nice to pack in, powder just in case, Rare Beauty blush, bronzer. Am I shaking y'all all over the place? And then the Charlotte Tilbury like setting powder. I use this little thing with this gold powder under my eyes and like on my eyelids and stuff. Oh, and then we're gonna take this Dollar Tree blush because it's good. It's really good. I need some brushes. I kind of want to do my hair up. So I'm going to take this pack of clear elastics and then this bag of bobby pins just in case. I might end up just wearing it down, but I don't want to get hot. And I feel like if I prepare ahead of time, those aren't going to fit. Then It'll just be cuter and I'll be happier with it. Eyebrow gel, we're gonna take a concealer. We're gonna take lash curler. Let's do a couple mascaras. I know I already put one in there, but listen, we gotta be prepared. Ooh, and then I can't forget this combo. This Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Rose Velvet 130, and then the Benetint. I love the Benetint. All right, I think that's it. Oh, we're taking this Timu fan because it's legitimately good. Let me throw the charger for the fan in here because when it came in the mail, it didn't need to be charged and I don't want it to run out. So I'm gonna throw that in there. All right, makeup done. Oh, let me put this little clip in here because I use that a lot. Hair products, oh my gosh, I have so much more stuff than I thought I did. Curling iron, straightener just in case. <sighs> okay, let me, you know what? Let me get it all together and then I'll see you once we're ready to put it in the bigger bag. This bag actually is pretty big, so I hope it'll all fit. So let's do makeup. I do have a toiletries bag that's pretty big that needs to go over there. So I'm gonna try to stick to this side. These hair ties I'm gonna put in this zipper here. Makeup brushes, jewelry we might can stick in that side as well. Straightener, curling wand, dry shampoo, hairspray, wet hair serum, dry hair serum, this little fan I'm gonna stick in the side. And then I do wanna take this belt I thought was cute. So we're just gonna throw it in the bottom. <laughs> These two brushes. I don't know if my other thing's gonna fit in there, y'all. Okay, toiletries I will do in the morning. I have a couple different size bags, so I think I can make it work. It's just, you know, deodorant. I am gonna take shampoo and conditioner, soap, lotion, that kind of thing. But I think I can make it work. And I cannot believe I filled this up for literally two nights, one full day, and two nights. I am for sure taking my tripod. Brian talked about wanting to do some funny TikToks. So I'm gonna take the tripod, I'm taking my Kindle, I'm gonna download a couple books, my AirPods, a steamer, because do we think that hotel rooms have steamers or just irons? Irons. I don't think the steamer is gonna fit with everything else. I'll have to talk to Brian, see if he has any extra space. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. You're watching this on the day that we're on our way home. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where everything will get posted. Like I mentioned in last week's vlog, I'm not vlogging my trip. Um, it's Brian, my sister, brother-in-law, and nieces. So I'm just taking a break. But if you want to follow along, then follow me on Instagram. I'll try to save everything in a highlight. That way, if you're watching this later, you can still log on and see. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on Saturday for the swimsuit Saturday that I filmed today. Bye, y'all.